Hello, and welcome to 5-Minute Math. Today we are looking at the 5th grade concept of multiplying 2-digit by 3-digit numbers. This is standard 5.3b in the great state of Texas, and we are using item number 25 of the 2023 release to start test. If you haven't done so already, please go ahead and take a moment to pause the video, work this problem out on your own, unpause it, and we will look at our answers together. So, seems like a pretty straightforward problem here. We have 127 rows of apple trees. Okay, so we could, if we were really interested, right, we could draw a an array here. Right, so we can say, okay, these are my rows. Right, and how many rows do I need to draw? Well, let's just say it goes down into infinity, right? 127, not quite infinity, but it seems like it's going to. And then how many are on each row? Well, I'm not going to draw columns. I'll just write the number, right? So there's 53. I could draw 53 columns, or I can just write, you know, the number. And that goes all the way down. So I've got 127 sets of 53. And this is why we learn the standard algorithm for multiplication, because... That's just a lot. Now, you don't necessarily have to use the standard algorithm, right? We've learned about how we could do uh, like an area model, right? So what would that look like on an area model? Well, let's draw that over here. So that would actually be a series of small multiplication problems, and that's fine. We can take our 53, right? And we could kind of split it up into the 50 and the 3. We could take our 100, we're going to split it up by place value, right? Like 100, and then 20, and then 7. I'm trying to make it a little bit proportional, right? Then we just multiply each of these, right? So 50 sets of 100, well, 5 sets of 100 is 500, and 50 sets of 100 is 5,000. 3 sets of 100 is 300. 50 sets of 20, well, 5 sets of 20 is 100, so 50 sets of 100, 20 is going to be 1,000. Three sets of 20 is going to be 60. And then 50 sets of 7 is 350. And then that is going to be 21. Now here's the problem. I have to line all that up. And I have to add all that. Right? So I've got to make sure I'm not misaligning anything here. But it could work. 350. I'm trying to do my largest numbers. Kind of make them decreasing. Now, we're going to find all of these numbers again when we do the standard algorithm. Maybe not in the same order, because I did put them in descending order by size. Right, we're going to get a 1. We're going to get 5 and 6 is 11. That's 12 is 13. 2 is 13. And I've got that 6 and the 7. And then I've got my 6. All right, so I'm going to see 6,731. But this is a nice visual using this area model totally works. One of the issues, quote unquote, is that it does require you to add them all up afterwards and make sure you line everything up. That's why most of us prefer what we consider the standard algorithm, right? So when we have a three by two, we always make sure the two digit number is on the bottom. And so let me just kind of go back and forth. I'm, I'm going to highlight each number as we make that, okay? So seven times three is 21. Right, so instead of writing both down, obviously I'm going to carry that 2. Here's my 21. Here's my 21. Okay, so uh, I've got this 3 times 2 is 60. There's my 60. There's my 60, right, because that 2 is really a 20. And then I'm going to add those two more, and it's going to look like an 8. That's not going to show up because I'm doing the adding while I'm multiplying. And then 3 times 1 is 3, but really that's a 300 because that 1 is in the 100 spot. There's my 100. There's my 100. So I've done all of that. Now I'm going to do my next row, but this 5 is a 50, right? So I'm going to say 5 times 7 is 35, but really that's going to be 350 because it was actually a 50. Then I'm going to do 5 times 2 is 10. Carry that 3, that's 13. But really that 10 is a 20 and a 50, so I need to add two zeros. There's my 1,000. And then 5 times 1 is 500, 600. So what you have here is a 1, right? That's a 13, that's a 7, there you go, 6,731, our answer is C.